So here's the first driver board that I created and it works great. It's just three MOSFETs, one for red, one for green, one for blue. Um, and it connected through this cabling here, it connected to pins A9, um, A10, and A11 on the Arduino or D9, D10, D11. Uh, and then this is where uh, the LED strip connected. Uh, 12 volts goes out the black line and then grounds are provided um, by the red, the green, and the blue. Uh, the Arduino output is PWM, so it varies the brightness of the LEDs through PWM. This is a, a 24 volt, or excuse me, 12 volt uh, input for the LEDs. It could be 24 volt, um, but I'm using 12, so this is a 12 volt input for the LEDs. Um, and this, the way this board worked, it required separate power supplies for the LEDs and the Arduino. Uh, I decided I'm going to build a, uh, a proper PC board um, that's built like a shield and use that. Uh, to um, have a 12 volt input and power both the Arduino and the LEDs from the one board. Uh, that'll, again, that'll work, that'll work fine. What it won't do is it won't let me use 24 volt LEDs. That would be too much for the Arduino's input, uh, but I can use five volt or um, 12 volt LEDs, no problem on that board. So that's what I'll be doing. Anyway, we'll take a look at that board in a couple minutes. All right, so here's my original prototype board, and now here's the formalized PC board version of it. Um, this is now designed as a shield, so it goes straight on the Arduino, um, using the whole pattern and header pattern of uh, the Arduino Uno. And uh, this is where the LEDs will connect. You can either solder them directly on there or uh, put a little connector on there. There's a pilot LED for power right here. This is the uh, input connector. This is where the trellis will connect, the four pins that are required. Uh, basically two communication pins and then two power pins, uh, five volts and ground. And then of course our MOSFETs go up here. Um, I also added a space for an optional cap, which I am going to say is not really optional depending on how many LEDs we're going to drive because uh, those LEDs will, um, will make the power supply pretty bouncy and so having an extra cap there will help smooth out the power supply a bit and make sure that the Arduino runs well uh, no matter what the LEDs are doing. So that's that. Let's uh, put one together and uh, we'll see what it looks like and start hooking it up. All right, so here's a finished board now with all the parts soldered on it. You can see I've got the, um, I've got the headers that uh, fit to the Arduino put in. I've only put in pins. Um, actually, these pins are dead. They're not used um, by the shield, but I put them in just for stability. These are used by the shield. There's some pins down below on the lower row that are used by the shield. I've got my three driver MOSFETs installed, uh, my cap, power connector, power LED, and I've got my trellis um, wired in where the trellis gets wired in. So, and you can see I've also got the standoffs for the trellis. Uh, these might be a little bit long, but um, they're just the ones that I grabbed first. So we'll see how well they work. And if I need to make adjustments later, I will. Let's put this all together and see what happens. And so here you can see the shield has been mounted on the Arduino. No problem, fits perfectly and Everything's uh, nicely set. Nice good clearances. Um, it's actually resting on this USB connector, but that's okay. There are no traces on this side of the board underneath there, so I think that's just fine. Uh, here with our MOSFETs that are the drivers for the LEDs and the standoffs are holding up the trellis board. So the trellis board is nice and stiff uh, mounted on there. I probably could have used shorter standoffs, maybe about half the size. A, I want to have a little clearance for the traces down there, but I can at least pull that off another five millimeters, so I'll probably look for a shorter standoff before I'm done. Um, and then we can see here's our power connector and LED uh, for the board, and that's where we're gonna put in the uh, 12 volts uh, to drive the whole thing, and the 12 volt power supply going into the shield will drive uh, the power supply for the Arduino. So the Arduino will be powered from the shield, as we said. And then um, instead of putting the connector on, because I'm just always going to have the same string of LEDs, uh, I just soldered the LEDs directly to the board in this case and saved myself a buck or so on uh, buying the little connector that goes there. So this thing is all set. Uh, let's go ahead and plug power into it and put the, uh, put the rubber cover on the trellis and play with the buttons and see what happens. Okay, so now I've got my power input to the shield and you can see the red LED is on on the shield. So that's good. Um, it's a little bright. Uh, since this is gonna be plugged in all the time, I don't want that red LED lighting up the room. So I'm probably gonna change out that resistor for something a little higher value and uh, tone that LED down a little bit. Um, but currently everything is running. Uh, you can kind of see in there. Can we see in there? Where are they? There they are. You can see the 
Arduino's lit up, it's running. Let's get this thing turned on. The way we turn it on is we uh, just press and hold the bottom uh, left-hand corner button and release it, and there it is. It does its little wake-up routine with all the buttons, and now we can see that the device is awake. Um, the way I've designed the controls, and I'll go into the user interface later, uh, is that the um, these top buttons control the brightness of the LEDs. So this is up and down for red, green, blue, and then if you use the white, it controls red, green, and blue together to make white. Uh, so if we want to turn up the red, for example, we can just tap the we can just tap the red button. See my finger on the bottom of the trellis board there activated the button, so it's pretty sensitive. Um, that won't happen obviously when it's in a case, but so we can see the LEDs are coming on. Let's, see, let's mix some green in there, we'll mix some blue in there, or we can go, let's go white, up all the way, and down. I've got these LEDs coiled up, so I don't want to do this for too long because those LEDs will get really hot on the reel. Um, and then the other thing that this board can do is it can play patterns, and the patterns are programmable, either by programming the Arduino itself, obviously, um, but I wanted my kids to be able to program their own patterns before they were confident in um, in doing it with Sketch. So I gave them a way on this user interface to program these buttons as presets. So these bottom eight buttons are all presets for different patterns they can run, like this one will just run an ascending and descending pattern of red. Uh, and you can see it flashes the uh, button on the trellis uh, as it's playing that pattern, which, um, I mean, the trellis makes little little things like that really, really easy to do. I just love the way this thing works. I'll probably end up using it for a lot of projects. But, um, Anyway, all these eight buttons are different um, are different patterns that they can run or store, and so they can program. There's an interface where they can program their own patterns, and uh, and just run um, whatever they like. Because guaranteed, if I preset the patterns, my kids won't like it. They'll want something else. So anyway, that's uh, that's that, and uh, we'll let's, uh, work on a case for this and get that all tidied up and see if we can make this look actually finished and polished and ready to install in the kids' room.